Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Rachel and my mom, Veronica. So mom, today we are doing a uniquely Tanzanian recipe. Yes. Yes. Finally, yes. Okay, and uh, talk us through. What yeah, we're, we're doing. going. We're going to cook ugali. Ugali, which is um, a very favorite Tanzanian meal, and it's like uh, what the Italians call polenta. The British called it in my country. They called it stiff porridge. Okay. It is cornmeal, yeah, that's right. It's cornmeal stirred in hot water and you beat it like you, if you know about polenta, you beat it like crazy. I've been trying to teach my children to make it. I did it, you know what? The last one I made was amazing. Okay, but now we are gonna, with this. we're gonna make a tomato gravy to go mm -hmm. with the ugali. It has to, so we're gonna chop the onion. And I'm staying away and from And Rachel is allergic to onions. So I can eat them, but I can't cut them. I'm gonna chop the onion. And then we're gonna. Oh, then Rachel, wash your hands. Yeah. Are your hands clean? Yeah, they're clean. Mush, then while I'm cutting the onion, you go you mash the, the, okay. the, the tomatoes okay, like great. this. Terrific. Just like this. Just like this. Woo, That's woo. what will happen. So you have to be careful. First, the best way uh -huh. to avoid spilling on yourself, yeah. poke your thumb here okay. and then smush. All right, great. And how many tomatoes do we have? We have a whole can of tomatoes. So a can a of big whole, can of tomatoes. Can I'm gonna wash the onion a little bit here, and then it now feels quite nice to smash. And them. I'm gonna chop while well, Rachel is mushing the tomatoes. And take out all of your anger. Yes. Not that I have anger management <laughs> issues. <Okay>. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so we've got we've got a can. A can of, of tomato. Now tomatoes. I'm finished chopping the onions. I'm gonna help you. I'm sorry. Mom is fast. I am too too so fast. So fast. You've no idea. <laughs> because woo. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you know um, the best is to mush them in there. Anyway, they're mushed. They I'm are. I'm gonna use my hands, and we are going to the stove. Okay, terrific. So to we'll start meet you cooking. at the stove. I'm still mashing. We're gonna start the tomato gravy okay. by um, browning some flour. But now we've we've got some canola oil in here. We've got about two tablespoons of canola, of canola oil, oil, which we're we've got on high heat. Yeah, we're gonna heat it up, and then okay. we're gonna brown the flour. Okay, terrific. And let's just wait a little bit for the flour to for the oil to get a little hot. Okay. Then we're gonna put some flour. Let's say two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of flour. Terrific. And. Um, on high heat, stir, we have to, um, am I blocking your way mama? Do you no, 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 you're not blocking, okay. I'm just, uh, so after this is nice and brown, we're going to add, we're going to add the onions. onions. So we're going to let this brown and we'll see you in a couple of seconds, right? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to add the onions. Just uh, brown the onions a little bit and then we'll add the tomatoes. Brown the onions. It really otherwise, smells wonderful. It smells delicious. Because if you don't brown the onions, then they will be like kind of raw when right. you, if you add the uh, tomatoes before wow. that. Right. Yes. Should we turn the heat no, down? No, or we must stay, kept, stay, okay. stay high. Stay high. The Tanzanian people never have stoves that you turn low. We cook right. with firewood. The heat is intense all the time. So you have to work fast. So That's why I fire. work fast when I cook. Next, Rachel, bring the tomatoes. Okay, what are tomatoes that? in there? So we're pouring in well, our, no. our okay. mashed potatoes. You want me to turn this down? No, no. I just didn't want you to oh. pour from a high spot because it will bubble on you. Okay. And here is our tomato gravy. But we're going to add salt. Wait, you okay. add some salt, So please. how much salt are we adding on? Um, let me see. Yeah, I can say how so much. Like a tablespoon? But, uh, yeah, to about, taste. About, yeah, to taste. Okay. And Rachel, could you uh, grind, grind, grind some mm -hmm. black pepper, please? And once again, and the pepper is to taste as well. Yes. Okay. I'm going to lower that and let it simmer. Put the top on and then let it simmer. Meanwhile, we will go and cook, cook the ugali, which we will we'll eat with a tomato gravy. It smells wonderful. It does smell wonderful. Mm. Okay. We're going to put the top on okay. and then... Um, and we'll meet you back here when we're going to be uh, cooking the ugali. That's right. Okay. 
Okay, everyone, so we're back, and we just want to show you the ingredients for ugali. Um, so we've got dun, 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 cornmeal. Cornmeal. And uh, it can either be the yellow corn, which we usually cook with, or it can be white. White. Right, Mom? White. It has to be cornmeal. Okay, and we're going to put approximately two cups of the cornmeal into... About four cups of water. And everything is a bit of approximation. What we want to do is we want to get it into kind of a porridgey kind Stiff of a texture. Porridge, yeah. And then we're going to make it so that it's more of a, a really, really um, uh, stiff porridge. So we'll meet you over at the stove. Okay, so we are back at the oven and the water is almost boiled. And we're going to start adding the, the, the cornmeal. Uh, corn yes, okay. yes. I was about to say the ugali. Yeah, you, you add the cornmeal and I will okay. start. So uh, just pour. There we go. So just pour the cornmeal. Pour meal. liberally in. And and stir all the time. Once the cornmeal is in, you have to keep stirring, and then uh, until. So once a, once again, it's kind of an estimate as to how much the ingredients, uh, how much um, cornmeal we're putting in. You kind of have to like feel it, feel okay. your way through, right, Mama? So, yeah. For now, you start slow down with that, okay. and then we're gonna wait until this this bubbles it's gonna bubble in a minute and then we'll add more cornmeal to reach our consistency of ugali i have to say i was always um i i love ugali but i was always so scared of you making it because or or to make it myself because yes. when it starts to bubble you gotta be that's right on it yeah you have to be on it Otherwise, you know, for one thing, it, when it starts to bubble, it will create lumps if you are not on it. Yeah. You have to be on it. And you know what? It's wonderful when you cook ugali, you get muscles. There you go. You get, big, you get good arms. <laughs> and it's a testament. I cook ugali all the time. And um, it's almost bub to the bubbling point. Almost to the bubbling point. Okay. In a minute, is we're going to see it bubble. And then we're going to add the... Uh, the uh, more cornmeal, more cornmeal, cornmeal. Okay. and we'll reach our ugali consistency. And in the meanwhile, we've got our tomato oh, gravy that's simmering. Right. That's right. Let's check it. Here. And it smells, oh, it smells so yummy. Delicious, delicious. That's gonna be great. These two dishes are favorite in my family. I cooked this at, um, actually I shouldn't say I cooked it because you cooked it I for cooked me. I cooked it for that. For, for Caden's around the world, um, a portion of his school, and it was a huge hit. Everything was gone. So should I start Not adding? yet. It, I haven't seen it bubble yet. Okay. I haven't seen it bubble yet. We're going to wait until it bubbles. I can still, I can, oh, you see it's beginning? Mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, you can see it. It's beginning to bubble now, and it has to actually vigorous. Here we go. All right, now add some flour. Okay. Be generous. Be generous. You're the master ugali maker. That's right, and okay. I will keep stirring as she adds. Keep adding, keep adding until I say stop. Don't even shake the cup, just okay. add. So as you can see, it's really kind of, you just have to feel your way through it and, and uh, we're getting it into a very, very uh, thick consistency. Ready? Gee, Mom, I should be stirring it. Even though, yeah, you're, the, sure. even though you're the master. <laughs> See, this is why I've, I've been so intimidated my entire life to make okay, it. You can slow down enough a bit so I can make sure I have it. Um, We have enough uh, cornmeal now. All okay. we have to do now is keep beating the lumps it. out. Get the lumps out. Keep beating it. I feel like I should be doing something. And keep beating it. Beating. You wouldn't be able to beat this stuff. <laughs> uh, you can come and this try. This is one of the reasons why I've never. Why don't you come and try? Let's try. I think I can do it. All right. I've got, I've got pipes. All right. Okay, so here We're we switching go. positions. All right. Rachel's so, gonna be bidding it. You have to hit it against the side <laughs> of the pot. You gotta hit it against the side of the pot. And I tell you what, I am sweating. All right, go away. Let me no, do it. No, no, I can do it. No, am I not doing it right? No, let me do it. Okay. Let me do it. Sorry, we are. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's gonna be 
it delicious. Very dramatic. It's dramatic and it's simple. And people ask me, how do you make ugali? Because I cook it for them. And I tell them, oh, it's easy. You just... But it's not. It's not really easy. The ingredients look so, so easy. Simple. But then you've got, I mean, <laughs> this is not simple. I Don't be intimidated, folks. It is good. It's very good. I tell them it's simple. You just boil the, the water, add the cornmeal, and beat it to death. <laughs> <laughs> beat death. it to death. Um, it's done, actually. Okay. Now we're just going to give it some more heat. Let so it, you, you let it sit after you finish stirring yes, it? Yes, yes. Let it sit, but this is, this is ugali, but I also want to show you how to plate it. So, we'll um, meet you at plating. Okay, so the ugali is done. We're going to turn it off, huh, Mama? Yes, we're going to turn it off, and we're okay. going to plate it. All right. And uh, this is how we plate it. Ah, we're going to oh, bonk. And, and this is how we do it. Throw it in the air, throw it in the air, throw it in the air, throw it in the air. And voila! This is our ugali. All right. Let's enjoy. All right, so the ugali is ready. And here's the beautiful tomato gravy. It smells wonderful. Traditionally, it's eaten with your hand. hands, yes. right? Because you, you mash it together and then you dip, and you in dip the it into the tomato gravy. And I think food tastes better sometimes when you, when you eat it with your hands. hands. So, <laughs> thank you for joining us in uh, the, in the kitchen. And we'll see you next. We'll see time. you next time.